2019, the Stiletto Report is back, bringing you guys all the news you need to know. This is Philip Salem. And I'm Zadrian Smith. Let's get right into it. So we have been plugging the FITSA elections for the past two weeks. It is very important. The FITSA is a student government that basically runs our school, taking our problems and making them into solutions. Voting is March 15th through the 22nd. Lexpert.net slash FIT. Get your voice heard and vote. Also, for more information, check out W27's um, candidate special and go to the WFIT website to hear all about the candidates. Now, speaking of providing solutions, the president of our school, Dr. Joyce Brown and Vice President Murphy, are going to be joining us for a town hall meeting next week. We're going to be talking about sustainability and what we can do to make our campus better next year. So you definitely want to be there to have your voice heard. This is going to be in the Great Hall starting from 1230 until 2 o'clock p.m. And it's next Tuesday, March 16th. So save that date. Come out. Voice your, voice your concerns so that we can have some solutions made. All right, let's talk about some fun things happening on the campus next week. Now, on March 16th, the manager of the game room, Vernon Patrick, is going to be hosting a pool tournament. Now, I actually met the person who used to be number one in the world, Miss Jeanette Lee, a.k.a. the Black Widow. Where did you meet her? Pierce. A birthday party. <laughs> Just I went to a birthday party. She was like, oh, by the way, these are my pictures, and I was number one in the world for okay. the tournament. Is she going to be here? She's not going to be uh, here, so you guys don't have to worry about that. She's pregnant right now, actually, so she's she will not be here. She actually lives in Indiana. She was in New York for a party. But come out, have a great time. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys just want to release some stress, of course. come out and shoot that eight ball. Fashion Week is coming to a close. This is the last week of fashions being shown. And one of the most anticipated collections being shown was, of course, Alexander McQueen. He showed his final pieces. There were 16 pieces that were shown. Very small, very intimate. They invited a few editors to come out. And from what I've been reading and seeing the, seeing the pieces online, it's just very heartfelt, very moving, and just... It's a lot. It's it intense, is a lot. It but is the pieces lot. are just astounding. The images are up right now. They said that they took the um, inspiration. He took inspiration from Byzantine art and old world fashion. Mm -hmm. And it just encapsulated his genius. The, the genius of his craft Absolutely. perfectly in the last... Integrating great fabrications, embroideries, just everything across the board was executed so well. It's a great loss to the fashion industry. But business will continue with Alexander McQueen. The stores will be selling. They're going to be selling to the, the retailers that normally carry McQueen. So continue to support the label and keep his vision alive. Of course. Now, the queen of pop, Madonna, who's already sold over 200 million albums, she is now going to be a fashion designer. She is creating a brand called MG Icon. Okay. Um, she said that she was inspired by her daughter, Lourdes. Lourdes is, is a fa quite the fashionista. She is a fashionista. You said that she has a budget. Yeah, I, I read somewhere that she has a budget, a monthly budget, just for shopping. <laughs> Just to up, keep the wardrobe updated. You know, <laughs> it's in life of Madonna's fashion. Exactly. No big deal, no big deal. But it will be sold exclusively at Macy's. Prices range from $20 to $48. Very reasonable. Very Accessories reasonable. and ready to wear for a teenage girl. I mean, Madonna, Madonna has been uh, very quiet, but you know what? I respect her. I think I can appreciate her designing stuff because I think she understands fashion. She, she was such an icon in the 80s with the the cone bras and stuff exactly. like that. So I think she really grasps and understands the evolution of fashion, whereas someone like uh, Jessica Simpson, no. <laughs> well, this is the Madonna's first time. She did have that line with H&M. That's right. She was creative director. Okay. So we'll see what we'll she's see bringing to Macy's. Definitely. Oh, wow. Walk, walk, fashion, baby. It's time for Fashion News, guys, and we have Lauren Watkins, a fashion design major here at school with us, and we're ready to talk about Oscar fashions. But before we get into the fashions, we have a lot to talk about. Let's talk about the winners. Now, we the predicted award. right. We did. Oscars put us we on the board. Did. Put us on the board. We, we know good so movies. Good. We know good movies. So, we were surprised. Avatar did not get Best Picture of the Year. Actually, The Hurt Locker did. And I said that the Oscars, they always like to surprise us. And I, I've never even seen The Hurt Locker. I'm definitely seeing it this weekend. I'm going to run it. You need to see it. Definitely. And they won. They won. I think what I think people want to see real things they can relate to, reality. Exactly. And Avatar was just so different world. It's not true. But I think people want to see things that they can relate to and what's happening in the world right now. And I think that's why the Oscars respected them with that great award. And you were right about Monique. Yeah. Her acceptance speech. Phenomenal. Monique. I wasn't crazy about your dress, but you pulled it together and you looked, you look, you weren't great, but you looked good, you were just, good. just good enough to get me to be on she, stage and get the she award. She had the hairy legs. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't shave her I legs. Mean, she was giving me a little much, but I mean, your <laughs> acceptance speech was great. And moving on to Miss Sandra Bullock, who got the award for Supporting Actress against Meryl that was, Streep That was Gabbard. Actress. Oh, I'm sorry. She won Best Actress. It's okay. It's actress. okay. Best Actress. She, um, she was in the same contenders with Gabrielle Cedebe and also Meryl Streep. Sorry, Meryl. I mean, I think you deserve it. 
Someone said to me, they said, you know, I think people take her talent for granted. Gabby? Because, no, no, no. Meryl Streep. Oh, because she just course. keeps getting nominated and nominating and not winning. 17 nominations. I mean, come on. Just give, I mean, they should just give her an Oscar and be like, here, girl. <laughs> just take it go. and go. Just now, let's go. talk about fashion. fashion. Lauren, <laughs> let's start with Gabby Ray Sidibe. Let's start with that. What's Marcia been going on? The, Everybody's so, talking about this in the 65 yards of fabric. of fabric. Can you imagine? I mean, you'd have to have an army to go to the fabric store and purchase the fabric. Well, the, the, I thought she looked great. For her she body. She did look good. I mean, for a bigger girl, I think she pulled it off. I Apart from the arm detailing, it fit her body really well. Now, how long do you think it took the designers to make that dress for her? I don't even want to know. It's a lot. A did lot. she buy that off the rat? Absolutely not. They don't make dresses <laughs> 65 yards worth of dresses just, off the rat. I mean, rat. it was a big night for Marchesa because Sandra Bullock also had on Marchesa. Yes. Now, her dress stunning. I love. What did you think about her dress? Who's? Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. I don't. She had on the gold. It was like a gold. It's almost like an iridescent gold dress. Very yeah. fitted. It was. Beautiful. It was like a cap oh, okay. sleeve. It was. And it the was, hair that she had with that was perfect. Perfect. Was and the back. makeup was flawless. I think mm -hmm. she did a really good job. And then Meryl Streep did Chris March, all white, giving you very like Grecian goddess. So that really yeah. worked well for her. Tell me about uh, Zoe Saldana. She was wearing um, Givenchy Hoka Tour ruffles on the bottom. Bejeweled bodice. Yes. Very daring. Very daring. She was giving you a lot. But I feel like Marquez always gives me what I want. For really? that red carpet look. It's just classic. It's a good classic red carpet look. And then also another person that really stood out to me, well, in a in a bad way, was Miss J Lo. I mean she wear she wore Armani Privé. I just thought it was too many concepts for Either one dress. One. Just giving me too much. For me, like this is so random, but she reminded me like she was just put in a cotton candy machine and like and just <laughs> <throw it down. laughs> <laughs> just why why doesn't run carpet? She Jenny from the block, and they still her um, hair. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a fashion design student, let's talk about. We spoke earlier about Alexander McQueen. How does that impact you as a de as a design student and what you want to do in your future, and just honing in on your creativity and relating that to your design? Um, I think Alexander McQueen is one of those people that really understands that, or really tries and captures the design not as just design, but as like an art. To him, it was more about just expressing himself through his artwork through clothing instead of just making clothing that's wearable. Exactly. Like what I learned in class is to make clothing that will sell. I, I don't think he's so much as worried about that. So that's inspirational and to know that people appreciate it Absolutely. is inspirational. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have with the letter report. Yes. If you want, if you have a hot topic to talk about, like Miss Watkins was on <laughs> the show today, please email us. Our emails are at the bottom of the screen. Philip Salem at WFITNYC and Zadrian Smith at WFITNYC. Hope to see you guys in our studio, and we're gonna see you guys out there. Come here, boy, boy. Can you get it up? Come here, boy, boy. You